Hey, spooky little weirdos, I got a question for you. Does horror need comedy? Well, let's start off by defining horror. Horror is an intense feeling of fear, shock, or disgust. So these things sound like the furthest thing from comedy, right? Well, actually laughing and being frightened are a lot more similar than you would think. Both are linked by the release of oxytocin in the brain. Oxytocin is known as the empathy hormone and the bonding chemical, meaning that when it enters your bloodstream, it creates a sense of bonding and a sense of connection with the people around you. This does two different things specifically for horror films that utilize comedy effectively. Firstly, to have a character we care about in danger increases our adrenaline and our anxiety while watching a film. Everyone's favorite character in Halloween 2018 was not Lori or Michael, it was Julian. Why? Well, obviously we're gonna be more empathetic to children, but that's actually not the reason that anyone will tell you. It's because he was funny. If I had some other kind of babysitter, she'd be reading me a story, I wouldn't be up clipping my nasty ass toenails. It's because he made us laugh during an intense and emotional movie. We all relate to him more than any other character for this reason alone. And an older movie that I think does this the best is Night of the Creeps. We see many people throughout the movie become zombies, but it really just takes one scruffy comic relief character to be in danger for us to actually care more about the story. The deaths of characters that make us laugh, or even the possibility of them dying, makes us more invested in the story. Now what? Okay. How about we get a couple of machine guns, right? And we, and we blow the windows out of the joint and we and we yell, come on in and get me, you dirty compas. <laughs> I mean, everything's a joke to you tonight. Hey, fuck you, Chris. Secondly, if you ask Google why people even like horror movies, it'll tell you that it's because horror movies tap into our primal fears, such as the fear of contamination or the fear of being eaten. We as humans are curious creatures. We are intrigued by the darker parts of human nature. That being said, we don't want to put ourselves in harm's way. Research suggests that we must possess a psychological protective frame in order to derive pleasure from being horrified. Without the psychological protective frame, we become too scared and in turn, we stop enjoying the film. And the absence of this protective frame reduces the preference for horror consumption. Comedy creates that protective frame. Endorphins in the brain while laughing reduces stress, reduces anxiety, and increases our sense of safety. Whether it was a funny character or just the over the top gore that made you chuckle at an 80s slasher film, it allowed you just a little bit more to realize you aren't truly in danger, which ironically, makes horror that much more enjoyable. Thank you for watching. Hey, is uh, this thing on? Hey, you spooky little weirdos. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. That really helps us out. Also, check out our other channels for different types of spooky content.